Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, meteorologist with the National Weather Service, here to talk about more weather. This time Santa Ana winds followed by more precipitation and cold temperatures for Southern California. Okay, just a quick look back. This is how much rain fell across California. What I did is I did a search between Christmas and January 20th. Take a look at the locations that came up on top, including Southern California. Here are the key points. Moderate to strong Santa Ana winds developing through Thursday. They're gonna peak out Thursday morning. This is dry air, and so the nights will be cold, especially after the winds blow through on Thursday. Windy in the mountain passes and west slopes of the mountains going down into the valleys. Wind gusts 50, 70 miles per hour. Tree damage is possible as well as impact on high profile vehicles. Then we shift gears, Sunday, Monday, a cold storm from the north, not an atmospheric river, but still enough to bring widespread precipitation, significant in the mountains. Look for several inches of snow in mountain communities as well. Snow levels will drop up to around a foot of snow at 7,000 feet. Snow levels could be as low as 3,500 feet. Very cold temperatures will follow this Tuesday and Wednesday night, even for the coast and valleys. So what is in store for Southern California? The orange-brown shaded, that's the high wind warning areas for tonight and Thursday. The brown shaded, the wind advisories are in effect. Which is worse? The high wind warning is worse. Much higher impact expected. Okay, what are we looking at for Santa Ana winds and timing? They're going to increase through Wednesday night and peak out Thursday morning, as shown here. Already developing, they'll get stronger with time through the night in the areas shaded here in orange and red. The strongest winds, they are expected Thursday morning during the commute. In fact, winds could continue strong through midday Thursday across most areas, as shown here, and then gradually taper late Thursday afternoon, and finally, but still lingering, Thursday night, as shown in the lower right. This map depicts the strongest wind gusts, doesn't include timing information, but the strongest wind gusts that are expected in miles per hour, shown here. You can see all the wind corridors, 50 to 60 miles per hour, with the very wind-prone areas over 75 miles per hour. Some of that wind making across the inland valleys and all the way into the coast, as shown in the yellow shaded areas over 40 miles per hour. Now, shifting gears, we expect rain, precipitation Sunday and Monday, and it's a cold storm, generally widespread across California and evenly distributed, not an atmospheric river. For Southern California, this is what we expect for our mountain slopes. The winds will be coming up from the southwest. We expect one to two inches in the yellow shaded. The dark green, more favorable for San Diego County with this track of storms. And this will be widespread in San Diego County. It'll still rain in the Inland Empire, Northern Orange County, but just not nearly as much. Snow. This is a cold storm as mentioned, so significant snowfall is possible in the higher elevations. Snowfall is also expected for the San Diego Mountains as shown here. So be alert for that on Monday and Monday night as the snow levels crash, including Interstate 8. After the precipitation, it'll be downright cold but even high temperatures on Monday, not getting out of the 30s in the mountains, not getting out of the 50s on the coast. Take a look at the potential low temperatures. And these numbers will change as we'll get closer. Tuesday morning, frost and freezes for inland valleys. And even temperatures in the 30s to the coast. What's the weather pattern driving this? Storm system along the red line, that's the jet stream, this time coming directly from the north, right out of Canada. 
a piece of cold air breaking off. That's what starts this, and that's our Santa Ana wind on Thursday as we're on the dry side of this storm. The next storm, we're more on the wet side. It tracks further west into Southern California as shown here. We get more into what's called the dynamics of the storm and thus more instability, more atmospheric lift, more showers. So this gets us at least into a wetter part of the storm, even though it's still windy. Further out, the forecast for late January, early February looks like the jet stream will flatten out and point towards Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. Here's a look at the latest outlook. Cool temperatures continue across most of California below average early February, but wetter than average for far Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. Looks like much of this, if not all of this, will stay north of Southern California. Now, when we get further into February, the storm track remains pointed at Northern California and especially the Pacific Northwest, wetter than average expected this period in February. Here are the key points again. Take a look at these. Santa Ana winds for Thursday and then a really cold storm quickly moving through Sunday night and Monday for Southern California. Keep the wind and the low snow levels in mind for any travel coming up. You can always check and monitor the weather at weather.gov as shown here.